I love carnival glass and although it's the most common, my favourite colour is the marigold, orange and yellow with iridescent colours. But not all carnival glass is old. Hello everyone, it's Tiffany with Thrifting Vegas. I shop at thrift stores, estate sales, garage sales and discount stores for items I can resell for profit on online platforms like eBay, Poshmark and OfferUp. It's about 6.30 on Friday night here in Las Vegas and we are at Goodwill. They have their Halloween hotspot sign up and that means they will have some seasonal treasures uh, out on the shelves. I'm excited to see what they have. Usually about this time of night they are restocking their shelves. So let's go in and see what they have. Let's go thrifting! I'm looking through the window here and the color of the day is gray. That means all gray tags are 50% off. Are you ready? Let's go inside. We'll grab a cart. This store asks you to check in all big bags at the front counter and you're not really allowed to bring anything in with you. The Halloween section is right up front here and behind that is the hard goods. Past the costumes, we'll do the Halloween last I think. Here are the knickknacks, the candles and the figurines. Let's have a good look and see what we can find. Oh, I thought that was glass, but it's actually a plastic tray. Here's Olaf. Lots of air freshener dispensers and new candles on the shelves over here. The yellow tags mean they are new um, retail items. Ooh, look at these candlesticks back here. These are really pretty. They look to be etched. There's two matching. Oh goodness, I thought the bottom was frosted, but I think it's actually just grubby. Yeah, those are really manky, but I think they will clean up nicely. Let's put that one in the cart and get the other one. Just have a quick check over to make sure there's no major damage. Only $4 a piece. and we'll keep going. Don't be put off by things that are dirty or grimy. Um, they can easily be cleaned up and you'll be surprised sometimes at how beautiful things that uh, are really disgusting turn out to be. I think what I'll do in the haul is um, clean one up and uh, leave the other one dirty. Oh, this is uh, a lovely piece of pottery Oh goodness, they want $8 for that. And I am seeing, unfortunately, at the top, it does have a crack and the lid is actually broken too. So we will leave that. It's a little thin brass urn. It's very cheaply made. Lots of plates here. Here's a Holly Hobby collector plate. $10 price tag. That is priced for the collector, not the reseller, so we'll leave that. Some plaques, little Christmas ornaments. Oh, look at this. What a lovely little trinket box. It's a hat and it's got some ladybirds on it. It's only $2.99. No damage to it. The latch is working sometimes the latches don't latch closed so we will take that here is a lovely little white elephants elephants are selling really really well for me at the moment this guy is super he would look lovely in a winter display with some blue glass cobalt glass 
and uh, we will pop him in the cart. It's a little Hummel reproduction there, little angel figurine and a really, really big angel figurine here. Oh, she's very, very heavy. I think she might be a project piece, possibly. I'm not sure. I've never seen her before. Oh, look at this little penguin. This is a vintage piece. He's bone china. He's only $2. Lovely little penguin Christmas tree ornament. The other one's a candle, so I'll leave that. It's still too warm in Vegas to be shipping candles out of here. They invariably arrive all melty and damaged, but this fellow we will take. The fish candle holder. The pumpkin uh, display is from Big Lots. Some more little knick-knacky things. Here's Noah's Ark. Here's a fun Halloween pumpkin. $2.99. He takes batteries. He's got a little bat on top. He's fun. Let's take him for $3.00. Lots and lots to see. Make sure you move things around. Oh, this is that party light one. Still $15 and uh, just a bit too much for resale. Hopefully that doesn't end up in the landfill because it's priced high. Some ornaments here. Some apple canisters. Here is the brown aisle, lots of baskets and wood. Here's a little wall hanging one. And this one would be nice for bread. Let's see. We've got some utensil caddies here. Ooh, this one swivels, it's got bird houses on it. And a matching pull out recipe box. That's quite fun. Looks like a bird house. Here is a humongous apple. Unfortunately, it's chipped and it is resin. Uh, if it was wood, I could probably sand the chip and uh, oil it and fix it up. But uh, with resin, it's a lot harder to do. More baskets, some frames here, sconces and signs, shelving. All sorts of plaques, a candle tray. Oh, look at this pumpkin. This is fun. This would really match Jake's room. Green and black. It's $5. I think we will pick that up for Jake. It's a painted box. Unfortunately, the latch is broken on that. I think this is a wine bottle display. Here are some DVDs. Police Academy. Not really my thing, DVD sets, but uh, just out of interest, I'm going to pop these in the cart and check to see what they sell for on eBay. Let's just finish up the shelf. Oh, look at this. This is a vintage hat. It's got its original tag on it. It's felt with some beautiful feathers. That is so vintage looking. Let's definitely take that. We'll keep going. Maverick Tours. Maverick is a helicopter company here in Vegas. They do um, tours over the strip so you can see all the hotels and the lights and they also go to the Grand Canyon. It's quite a fun uh, touristy thing to do if you are in Vegas. Knife racks and letter racks. This little nut dish is still here and it's not on sale yet. Here's an elephant bowl. 
It looks like somebody has painted it. It's not as good quality as I would hope. A very lightweight, it's six dollars. I'm going to leave that. Here's a little diorama. This is a commercially produced one and it's broken inside. It's got a piece floating around in there. So we will leave that one as well. This plaque, I believe, is just made to look old. It has the telltale, telltale modern hanger on the back there. Here's a little, not sure what that's for, maybe a mailbox? More racks and baskets. This has the look of longer burger. Has a holly hobby ornament and it is damaged. More baskets. It's a little uh, letter board for sign making. This is still here, still broken, unfortunately. This is a wine opener set. This box is paper. A Boston Terrier plaque. This is a vintage letter holder. Very, very heavy. Six dollars. It is a vintage piece. Just not too terribly exciting. Maybe if I had a antique booth, I would grab that. Who knows what's going to happen? We are making our way into the metal section. First is the silver tone. And up here is the brass tone. Souvenir plate. It's a little lightweight ship. It's a bit dented on the top, so I think I will leave it. And caddies and storage over here. Some letters. Sconces. Ooh, down here is an outdoor hanger. You can put a hummingbird feeder or um, solar light on there. I have been looking for one of these. I have lots of hummingbirds in my back garden and uh, they fight over the feeders. So I wanted to put one in another corner and hopefully spread the feeders out a bit so the hummingbirds uh, can feel like they have their own feeder. I'll perhaps drop a little bit of footage um, of the hummingbirds in the garden in at the end of this video so you can see them feeding. Just checking these platters over on the off chance that there is some silver here. Oh, I absolutely love these plates and silverware caddies. They're perfect for the holidays and I like to use mine when we're eating outside. Really, really useful those. Some more silver plate here. Moving into the black wire. Here is a magazine rack. This is not leather. It's a modern reproduction of a mid-century piece. Lots more racks. Here's a instrument stand. 
Oh, look at this sign. This is a vintage piece washroom. It's $4. Be on the lookout for these uh, vintage metal signs. They sell really, really well for me. And uh, this one does have some Velcro on the back, but I would probably just sell it as is. It has holes as well for hanging. Let's get that in the cart. Do remember to look at my Police Academy DVDs to see if they are worth buying. Here's a dream sign, unfortunately. Very, very chipped, a bit worse for wear. More candle holders, wine racks. Here's a Keurig uh, pod stand. Oh, look at this. I think this is an old uh, Wylick Brothers silver plated piece. Looks to be in quite good condition. Only $3. It should have a little stamp somewhere on the bottom rim. I probably have to get my magnifying glass out to find it, but I do recognize the pattern of that. Let's have a look around to see if by any chance there is another one for a pair. I will be checking the other sections and shelves of the store to see if I can find another one. What is this? Oh, it looks like a little uh, sconce for a glass holder. Those are quite fun. Here we are in the vases and planters. This is a really pretty little pottery piece. I love the irises on there. Doesn't have a price on, but I'm sure we can get one up at the front desk. Let's pop that in the cart. Keep going. These are modern florist pieces. It's a little knob there. Sources and buckets. Some little fall corn uh, husk decorations. Lots of florals. Wreaths. What's this? This is a Hummel box. It did have a plate in it, but unfortunately it's empty now. Some broken glass fruit, that's a shame. Probably a pepper, was it? Oh, look at these. These are those um, floral cake canisters unfortunately they are both missing their lids and priced at five dollars a piece we'll have to keep an eye out to see if the lids might be somewhere on a different shelf but uh, it's a bit unlikely I think some more glass fruit a couple of peppers here and uh, these tomatoes yeah they want $10 a bag on those, so I think we'll leave them for somebody else. I am often asked why I am so touchy with items, why I pick them up, why I feel them. And it's because I can learn just as much from holding something as I can from looking at it. Old pieces and good quality pieces have a certain feel to them. So when I pick things up, not only am I looking for a mark on the bottom, but I'm assessing the way they feel in my hand, whether they're heavy, whether they're thick, whether their weight matches the look of them. And I can tell because I've been doing this for so many years, whether a piece is quality or not just by holding it. Don't forget to look up high, all the way up on the top shelf and on the bottom shelf. Don't miss anything. There's a little house there. 
that looks like a little hamster house. Lots of florist vases for arranging. Here's a flamingo tray. That's a dollar store plastic piece. Buckets, big glass vases down there. It's a hurricane shade. This is a party light piece. Some house numbers. This is interesting. Definitely looks vintage. Oh, it's Sears USA. How interesting. That is a very fun piece. I love the stripes and the colors. Um, unfortunately, it's very, very crazed, but I am interested enough to want to look it up on eBay to see if there are any more like it. Let's pop it here and let's bring out my other phone. And we will see if we do a quick search on eBay, Sears USA vase. The reception in here isn't very good at all. So it takes a good minute for anything to come up. Let's have a look. Fenton. That's interesting, nothing at all, says USA. So let's look quickly in the sold items. And that's not even similar. So what we'll do now is just go and have a look with our Google Lens. Like that, we'll snap a picture in Google Lens and it will find anything that looks similar and bring up the results for us. As I said, it's taking quite a while in here because the reception isn't very good. Actually not finding anything at all similar to that, but it is very, very crazed. I don't know if I can, oh, and it has a crack, see that? That crack is is quite significant and I wouldn't want to ship it with that crack. So uh, with the crazing and crack combo and the fact that uh, there are not really any similar comps, I will leave that on the shelf. One more section of vases here. Oh, clear it looks like but you never know what you're going to find. So don't skip out on something just because it's not a section that you usually find something. And here's some um, black star confetti for a dollar. You can never have enough confetti. <laughs> Looks like somebody has made some centerpieces here. These are really fun. Sort of uh, bejeweled with some glass rocks and candles and they did a nice job on those. Here we are in the kitcheny bits, having a look to see what we can find. Definitely a lot to see on this shelf. What's this? It's a little made in China jelly jar. This is Temptations. It's a really pretty blue dispenser. Unfortunately, it does not have its lid, so that's a bit of a deal breaker. Oh, look at this. This is a pepper salt shaker for a dollar. I wonder if it has a friend somewhere around. We'll keep looking. That's a Mikasa a little sugar bowl with a lid. Some pink glass here. That one isn't very old. Butter dish. picture we saw last time with the flattened wine bottle. Ooh, this is something I want to see. I'm hoping it's not damaged. It looks like an ironstone piece. Let's pop this down here. 
That's Homer Laughlin, I think. Not very exciting, but look at this. Yeah, original iron stone. I don't think it's very old, but it's really, really fun. All sorts of food items on there. We'll take that. Let's see what this is. Not marked. Absolutely love this platter. Really fun for um, lunches, serving. Just want to see what this is. Chef salad bowl. It reminds me of the Campbell soup. Little soup mugs, that sort of design. Back here looks like a Syracuse piece. Restaurant wear. You can tell restaurant wear because it's very, very heavy for its size and look. Um, it's heavy duty. It avoids cracks and chips. Um, so it can be used over and over in the restaurant without getting damaged. Is this some Fire King? The gold is a bit worn sadly and they don't really fetch much profit those so I will leave it little wooden nut dish oh I love oh look look here is the match for our little pepper I love that it's red and I was going for this gorgeous pottery pitcher so let's make sure I don't drop those and we'll take this as well. It's unfinished on the inside. Absolutely love the look of that. Almost a basket wave. It's quite heavy. So let's get that put in there somewhere safely and put our peppers in. That's excellent. I'm so excited when I find a match for a salt shaker. This guy is missing its um, cup. It's an individual teapot. Let's look at this. Looks like that matches the apple back here. Not marked. I can tell by the weight that it's not ever such good quality. I love carnival glass. And although it's the most common, my favorite color is the marigold, orange and yellow with iridescent colors. But not all carnival glass is old. Carnival glass was first created by Fenton in 1908, but it didn't sell for the high prices they were expecting, so it ended up being heavily discounted and then given away at carnivals. Its popularity has surged in recent years, so that's why reproduction florist pieces like this one were created. This is an absolutely gorgeous vintage deviled egg plate. It's not marked. Somebody has industriously scraped off the label to double check there. Unfortunately, it is missing its two little baby chick salt and pepper shakers that sit either side of the mummy hen here. I'm going to scour the shelves. I will actually drop in a picture here of what this is supposed to look like if it's complete. Such a shame. I really hope I can find the salt and peppers, but maybe somebody already bought them. Let's keep going here. Here is a little tureen. Lots more glass. Some scrapbooking supplies there. Ceramic teapot that's got some damage to it. Little olive dish. A sunflower sugar and creamer. The creamer has a chip. So I wanted to take a step back so I could show you this piece on the shelf in comparison to everything else. Just look at the quality of this. It's so glossy and substantial. Gorgeous pottery piece. I'm trying to get the camera to pick up the mark in the reflection there. This is a McCoy piece. It's only $3.00. Now, unfortunately, there we go, I zoomed in. 
McCoy. Unfortunately, I do believe that this is a canister missing its lid because I've bought and sold this set before. However, it could easily be used as a gorgeous utensil holder if you have the uh, set of canisters or even if you don't. It's a lovely, lovely piece, would be perfect on your counter for utensils and it is a McCoy piece, a company that was started at the turn of the century, uh, I believe 1910, just uh, always superior quality and lovely, lovely pieces. Let's keep going here. Um, after holding that McCoy piece, all these uh, modern pieces seem very, very lightweight. That is a butter dish. I think that's a Mikasa piece. That's only $4. Not ever so exciting. And uh, I'm a bit torn on that. It's sort of a replica of um, the depression glass piece, but I'm almost positive that uh, that is modern. There's the bottom of a butter dish. That's an older piece of glass. Lots of jars, cups, mugs, bowls. Sunday glasses. I think these are actually little candle holders. That looks like a punch bowl set. Serving platters, pedestal cake stands. So many lovely pieces. I thought for a minute that that was the top of that butter dish, but it is too wide. This is a lovely glass corn on the cob holder. Oh, it looks like there's several more at the back there. Lots and lots of clear glass. Some little rice bowls. Actually, I think they're cups. This is a Mr. Peanut canister. These used to sell really, really well for me, but the market got a bit flooded, so I don't pick those up anymore. Oh, look at this lovely piece. This is a vintage, I believe it's a napkin holder. Very nice frosted and clear glass. It is $6, but I think there is still room for some profit there. Here we are in the mugs and I have spotted some Graydon Hall elephants. These always sell really, really well for me. There's three here, two blue ones and a sort of a dark red one. Only 99 cents a piece, so we will grab those. Oh, Pea Soup Andersons. I used to go there as a child. I think it's in uh, Northern California, the one we went to. Solvang, on the way to Solvang, I think. Uh, so I might look that up on eBay. I'm sure, almost positive, it will be a collector's item. Up here, we have a blue willow cup and saucer. This looks to be a more modern piece, Churchill of England. A nice piece, but again, uh, I'll have to check on eBay just to see if the profit is worth me grabbing it. I know uh, I want these, so let's get them safely in our cart. Graydon Hall is the brand. The animal ones sell really well for me. They also do uh, patterned ones that don't do quite as well. Uh, let's give the shelves a good once over to see if there are any more elephants. Quite like this cat, so I'm going to get that as well. 
as I said, just looking to see if there are any more Graydon Hall animal mugs. They have unicorns, they have owls, obviously the elephants. Let's pop these down. Oh, I've just noticed that this cat mug has a big scratch across the paint and it looks like a hairline crack so I am going to pop him back on the shelf unfortunately he is really fun though this is a Cheshire cat a Disney mug it has some chips at the top with mugs uh, damage and chips uh, usually deal breakers this is a fun donut club club rules donut dunkers mug this one might be worth looking up on eBay as well. You have to make sure there is room enough profit with mugs because uh, shipping usually goes into the two pound rate if you pack them sufficiently and carefully. So the profit has to be there, the value has to be there in order to make it worth the buyer's while to pay for a two pound ship rate. Ooh, there is an owl Graydon Hall but unfortunately it has a massive chip on the side that is such a shame. If you're enjoying the video it would mean the world to me if you could give it a thumbs up, drop a comment below and subscribe to my channel with the little red button in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. Having a browse through the glasses and the tumblers, there are some cruise line flower glasses, about $8 a piece those. It is not a very substantial blue topped glass there. Oh, this is the Grinch and Max. Unfortunately, the uh, design is peeling away. We'll leave that. Let's see what else they have set of pink tumblers those are modern lots of wine glasses this one's got pineapples on but it's um, plastic some crystal there some etched that's very very lightweight Martini glasses and margarita glasses, wine glasses. Ooh, look at these. These are Electric Blue Daisy Libby tumblers. Absolutely lovely. They look to be in great shape. Obviously haven't been through the dishwasher as so many of them have. We will pop those in the cart. I love that there's two. I'm just going to have a good look to see if there might be any more. A set of four or six would be ideal. That's a cranberry, is it Arcarac, that one? Not seeing any more of the Libby Daisy tumblers, but two will do just fine. Some shot glasses here. Or cranberry, lots and lots of tumblers, stemless wine glasses, it's another one of those pink ones, it's a little Christmas mug there. Don't forget to check the end caps and the sides. Look at these vintage pumpkin little snap together um, canisters. I'm almost positive these are vintage. $2.99 for the bag. Let's definitely grab those. These would look fantastic in a vintage Halloween display. Not sure what this is, some sort of massager for your back possibly. Pop those there. 
on the next one I've spotted these lovely sequin and glass bead ornaments. Let me zoom in on this for you. Look at that, little scallop beads with blue sequins. They almost look like um, fish scales or mermaid scales. They're lovely. We'll get those. Here is a bag. Oh, this is a Snoopy. Always check Snoopies. This one is um, a rubber ornament, not ever such um, value there, but the Hallmark Snoopies. Um, you want to look out for those. They can be worth ever such a lot of money. Just doing my second go round of the store to make sure I didn't miss anything and I did miss something. This is a Waterford Crystal wine bottle coaster for $3. Can't believe I didn't see that the first time but it's in great shape. No chips or cracks so we will definitely pop this in our cart. We are headed down through the artwork to have a peek at the lamps. I love the way this Goodwill displays their art. It's stacked so you can actually see almost everything they have without having to rummage too much. I'm looking at any frames I think are interesting to see what they are framing. <laughs> Such a variance of styles and mediums. Mirrors. Over here are the small framed pieces and I think I have spotted a cross stitch. Look at this. It's got horns and chili peppers, baskets, a kachina doll. It's just in a photo frame and that doesn't do it justice. It really needs to be professionally framed where the canvas can be stretched out and uh, given a matte board to complement the colours of the piece. It's absolutely lovely though. Let's definitely get that into the cart. We will have a peek to see if there is anything else here. This is a vintage foil picture of a deer and babies. I think we will leave that. Just flip through these here. Quite a few empty frames, which is another thing uh, that Goodwill is great for. If you ever need photo frames or frames for artwork, do check Goodwill because those can be ever so expensive and Goodwill has them for just a few dollars. Check this side. A lot of modern canvas prints, just fun pieces. This looks like a photograph here. It's a waterfall. I just looked up to see this lovely little miniature picture frame. It's metal with some jewels, blue jewels for $2. I think it's just made to look old, but it would look super in a vignette with some cobalt glass and metal. Here we are in the lamps and I have spotted something I 
absolutely love down here. I think these are Lucite. They are sort of red and amber. The plugs don't look ever so old, but they have possibly been rewired. I'm not really sure. I like the little feet on there. They're just sparkly and glittery and fun. I don't think that the shades that they have on there really do them justice. Um, but those could be easily replaced. But the lamps themselves are really mid-century. Love that glittery lucite look. Here's a better look. I popped them on a washing machine that was here. Just a really fun pair. So we will absolutely get those. I'm in the furniture and on this table is a little picture of London uh, at sunset. It's Big Ben, Tower Bridge, Houses of Parliament, only $2. So uh, I am going to pop that in the cart. Look at this amazing selection of Halloween goodies that they have here. The shelf is absolutely stocked full of fun pieces. Pumpkins, skulls and ghosts. Some little tea light luminaries. This fellow is fun. Just a little ghost there. He's really sweet. I like him. Just two dollars. We'll take him. It's a little witch's brew bottle. see something else back here just want to see this skull I'm a little bit overwhelmed in here there's so much to see skeletons All sorts of glittery pumpkins down here, purple, ceramic ones. What's this? Looks like a vintage guy. In front here is a fantastic terracotta pumpkin. I'm going to come back to that. But I do like this fabric pumpkin at the back. I'm going to grab him. It's a lovely fall piece. Fabric leaves, little tendrils. It's really fun. Let's put the ghost down here. Here is a soup tureen. It's a little plastic ghost guy. Probably lights up with batteries. Oh, look at this. Anchor hocking glass pumpkin. I absolutely love these. It's four dollars. I like to fill these with 
all sorts of candy or little plastic skulls and spiders and bats. The possibilities are endless. I am absolutely in love with this terracotta jack-o'-lantern. He has uh, little lights inside with a plug and would be perfect on my front doorstep. We have an outdoor plug there. Let me just turn him around to see if I can find a price tag. $15. Let's pop around the other side to see if there is anything else here. This side seems to be mostly plates and uh, seasonal dishware as well as costumes and hats. Here is a little Halloween stew decoration with toads. That's quite fun. Two trembling toads, 12 crunchy caterpillars, three spooky spiders, and one jar of June bug jelly. He's a bit scratched up, unfortunately. Let's just browse the remaining shelves and then I'm going to go check out. If you would like to purchase an item you see in my haul, please email me at thriftingvegas.tiffany at gmail.com. Please include your name, your address, the item, and the price I mention. If it's available, I will send you an emailed invoice. Here on my counter is everything I found at Goodwill. First, we have these really fun vintage Halloween little containers. They come in two halves. I put them all together. We do have one extra that I used as a riser for this one. And I believe this one is from a vintage light up wand. There are Three small ones, two large ones, and the half. I believe one of the small ones has a little chip out of the back. Not noticeable when it's displayed. There's also this fun little skeleton straw, which I will throw in here. All the pumpkins for $25. I picked up these confetti stars, black confetti stars. They were 99 cents. If anything, anyone is purchasing anything from me, um, I would be happy to throw these in uh, for you. So just let me know. First person who is buying something and would like the confetti stars will get those. Here we have our gorgeous Waterford Crystal wine bottle coaster it's frosted glass with clear glass and grapes i almost missed this luckily i went back for my second go around and noticed it i paid three dollars for it i'm going to ask eighteen dollars this would make a fantastic gift along with a lovely bottle of wine these beautiful blue i think they're called electric blue tumblers 
are vintage, they're by Libby. They have gorgeous little daisies all around them. Lovely condition, there are two of them. I paid 99 cents a piece. I am going to ask $25 for the two. Back here, we have our fantastic etched candlesticks. And as promised, I left one manky and dirty. Doesn't it look like that's frosted? But it's actually just build up. Yucky old candle in there. And then the other one I cleaned. I soaked it in really hot water. The candle just popped out of this one and look how beautiful it is. It is etched, has little etched pieces all down. Bottom is nice and clear. So just don't be put off if something is dirty like this, it can easily be cleaned and brought back to beautiful. I paid $4 a piece for these lovely candlesticks. They are vintage. I'm going to ask $50 for the pair. This back here is a stunning red pottery pitcher. Really lovely. It says, this product made with safe paint. It was $5.99. I think it would look stunning uh, with some flowers in. And it actually goes beautifully with the cross stitch back here. I am going to ask $25 on the picture. And uh, this is our lovely cross stitch. Native American themed, beautifully done. As I said in the video, it could really stand to be reframed because this frame just doesn't do it justice. I paid $3 for it. I can absolutely ship it without the frame to you. I am going to ask $30. In front here, we have our super fun pepper, salt and peppers, which also match the lovely cross stitch. Paid a dollar each for these. They both have their stoppers. They're dated 1993. They are vintage. I am going to ask $15 for the salt and peppers. This is a really fun little halloween -y piece. It takes the little tiny round batteries, which I don't have on hand, so I couldn't test it. So if you're interested in this, purchase just as is don't bank on it working it most likely will it probably just needs new batteries but and it does have its bulb and light in there and the on off switch i paid three dollars for it i am going to ask twelve dollars i absolutely love this vintage napkin holder I think it might be Czech or Bohemian glass. It's clear and frosted. Lovely little pedestal bottom to it. Put some fancy napkins in it. I paid $6 for it. I am going to ask $25. Pea Soup Andersons was a favorite of mine as a child. We would drive up uh, to Solvangen on the way uh, stop at Pea Soup Andersons. They opened apparently in 1924, and I don't know whether or not they're still open, but it says today Pea Soup Andersons serves approximately 2 million bowls annually of their famous soup. That's an amazing stat there. I paid 99 cents for this. I'm going to ask $25. Back here, we have our stunning McCoy, what I'm going to call a utensil holder. It's actually a canister that doesn't have its lid, but you know, if you have this set of the canisters, it would be amazing to have a matching utensil holder in the way of this canister that doesn't have the lid. Um, here's the McCoy USA Mark. 
I paid $2.99 for it. I am going to ask $20. Here we have our lovely elephant Graydon Hall mugs. Two blue and one, it's a dark cranberry red, sort of a, a Merlot color. Graydon Hall, I paid 99 cents a piece for them. I am going to ask $15 each, so it would be 45 for the set. Back here we have our modern carnival glass. This is not a Fenton piece. Um, it is, I believe, Teleflora. This is a reproduction following the increased popularity of uh, carnival glass in recent years. Nevertheless, it is a beautiful piece. It's in really nice condition. It would be absolutely lovely with some Halloween type decorations in it, um, some fuzzy spiders or glowing eyeballs, whatever you like. Lovely Halloween colour. I paid $3.99 for it. I am going to ask $20. Absolutely love this fellow. He's a very Kurt Adler-esque elephant though I believe he is just a mass-marketed piece. I bought him anyway. He's got lovely little ears, faint indented eyes. He's got his trunk poking up, a little tail. I paid $3.99 for him. I am going to ask $20. I love pottery. And when I saw this iris vase, I had to grab it. It's a lovely little bud vase. Now I noticed on the bottom, it's a bit gummy and it appears to have a crack that has been repaired. But to be on the safe side, I would probably pop some silk flowers in it. Although really it doesn't need anything. It is just gorgeous, gorgeous on its own. I ended up paying $4 for it. I am going to ask $18. Look at this penguin. He is vintage. He is bone china, made in Taiwan, really delicate. He has a sort of an iridescent rainbow sheen to him, pearlized. I paid $2 for him. I am going to ask $15. I made a little vignette here with my lovely metal and jeweled picture frame. The lovely uh, Weedlick Brothers candle holder and the little sequined with beads ornaments I found. Now doesn't that look fun? Absolutely lovely. I would probably put Maybe a cobalt vase and a milk glass vase in the back there. Maybe a little vintage photograph in the frame. And you have a super little display here. I paid $2 for the frame. I'm going to ask 15 on the frame. The three vintage sequined and beaded ornaments. I'm going to ask $25 for the three and the Weedlick brother's silver plate candle holder which is marked oh if you can see let me zoom in right there wb its number is gets 3850 going to ask 18 dollars on this piece Over here we have the sweetest little trinket box. It's an, a little bonnet with uh, ladybirds on it. The inside rim has got little sunflowers. Let me zoom in there for you too. Look at those. So fun. The little latch is a butterfly. And it's got flowers and ladybirds. 
it was $2.99. I am going to ask $18. This was probably my find of the day. It's a vintage plate. It's ideal ironstone ware. Eyed Brothers made in Japan. It's definitely grubby and in need of a wash. I paid $2 for it. It's in fantastic condition. Even the gold rim is intact and I am going to ask $25. Last but not least, we have our vintage Mammut Made in USA washroom sign. <laughs> it is metal, it is vintage. It does have Velcro on the back, so you could actually use the Velcro to hang it, or it does have little holes for nails. I paid $3.99 for it, and I am going to ask $25 on this one. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Please stay tuned. I have some fun, fun footage of some little hummingbirds at my hummingbird feeder. Um, they are very territorial in Las Vegas. Uh, my birds, they <laughs> chase each other away and they're not ever so friendly with each other. But maybe putting a third feeder out with the hook we found uh, today will help them feel a little more secure that the food is uh, going to keep on coming and there's enough for everybody. If you see something you're interested in purchasing, please send me an email, thriftingvegas.tiffany at gmail.com. Please include your name, your address, the item you're interested in, the price I quoted, and I will see you next time. Bye.